pH scale. The P in pH stands for power, and this refers to the power of 10. And it's a logarithmic scale. So an increase in one pH value means an increase in 10 times the ion concentration. The pH scale identifies whether a substance is an acid or a base, and also indicates how strong or weak that acid or base is. So this area here is your strong basis, and then closer to 7, you've got your weak basis. Then you've got your weak acids. And then your strong acids. So calculating pH and pOH. So pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration or the hydronium ion and H3O plus ion concentration can be found if you do 10 to the negative pH or the inverse log of the negative pH. pOH is a similar calculation. It's the oops, negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration and then the hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the negative pOH. The pH plus the pOH equals 14 and that's because of this relationship, the KW. If you take the log of both sides of this, you get the pH plus the pOH equals to 14. So if you have <clears throat> the pH of a substance, you can find the pOH. If you have the pOH, you can find the pH. So some questions will ask that. And also, you'll be able to find the hydrogen ion concentration, or the hydronium ion concentration, and the hydroxide ion concentration. So all of these can be found because of this, this KW expression. Now calculating pH, pOH, hydrogen ion concentrations can be a bit tricky. There are some sig fig rules associated with pH. The number of decimal places in the pH or pOH tells you how many significant digits. So it's the number of decimal places in the pH or pOH that tells you how many significant digits to have in your concentrations. Or basically, how many numbers to the right of the decimal place you can have. So, pH is 2.0. This has one decimal place, the zero. Therefore, you can only have one sig fig in your hydrogen ion concentration. pH 3.57 has two decimal places, so therefore its hydrogen ion concentration can have two significant digits. So let's do a couple of examples. Um, if I tell you that the hydrogen ion concentration or the hydronium ion concentration is 5.2 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter, I would ask you what is the pH. So try this in your calculator you, depending on the type of calculator you have, you have two options for solving this question. So try first of all putting the formula into your calculator 
using the formula for pH. So pH is the negative log of the value, the concentration. So you're going to use the plus minus sign on your calculator, then push the log button, and then the value for your concentration, and then you can either put it in in standard notation. Uh, this example is for 2 times 10 to the negative 3. So standard notation 0 decimal 0, 0, 2, or scientific notation 2 EXB for the times 10 and then the negative 3. If you get an error message, then you have to do it backwards in your calculator. You put the value in, then push the log button, and then the plus minus button. So your pH should always be um, a positive number. So what you should end up getting is an answer that is 2.2839 and then you round off for proper significant digits. Because there's two significant digits in our concentration, they would be two decimal places in our final answer. So 2.28. Try another one. Try finding pH if the hydrogen ion concentration is 3.75 times 10 to the negative 9 moles per liter. So for this, you should have as your final answer, well, as your answer, 8.42596 as your pH. Because there's three significant digits in our final answer, there will be three decimal places in our pH, so 8.426 is our pH. Now let's do a couple of examples where we are finding our hydrogen ion concentration from our, our pH. Let's say the pH is 2.30. The hydrogen ion concentration or the hydronium ion concentration will be equal to 10 to the negative pH. So 10 and then the exponent, negative 2.30. This is probably on your calculator as the second function of your log button. So when I do this calculation in my calculator as it's written, I get an error message. So I have to put in my calculator negative 2.30 and then second function log and then I get my answer. So the concentration is 5.01187 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. Now there's two decimal places in our pH, so there can only be two significant digits in our hydrogen ion concentration. So 5.0 times 10 to the negative 3, or 0 decimal 0, 0, 5, 0. And these are both moles per liter. Alright, so what happens if the pH is 10.1? So we want to find the hydrogen ion concentration. 
So 10 to the negative pH. And then, so that's 10 to the negative 10.1. And that is 7.9432 times 10 to the negative 11 moles per liter. There's only one decimal place, so there's only one sig fig. So 8 times 10 to the negative 11 moles per liter. Now, let's take a look at these values. pH of 2.3. This tells us that we have an acid, so we would expect the hydrogen ion concentration to be fairly large. And it's 5 times 10 to the negative 3. The pH here is 10.1. That's basic, so our hydrogen ion concentration relative to the pH 2.3 should be really small. And it is. It's 8 times 10 to the negative 11 moles per liter. So when you have a low pH, you have, uh, relatively wise, uh, a large amount of H+. Plus. And if the pH is basic, you would have a relatively small amount of H+. Plus. From both of these, we can actually figure out what the hydroxide ion concentration is. So, we know the pH, there's two ways to do it. The pH is 2.3, so we could find the pOH and then find the OH minus, or we could find the, hyd the hydroxide ion concentration because we have the H plus concentration. So, because I already have the hydrogen ion concentration, I'm going to use this relationship. So OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by H plus. So for the first instance where pH was 2.3, our hydroxide ion concentration is 2 times 10 to the negative 12 moles per liter. So in that case, our hydrogen ion concentration is quite large compared to our hydroxide ion concentration. So it makes sense that it is acidic. If we look at our pH of 10.1, our H plus ion concentration is 8 times 10 to the negative 11. So if we divide 1 times 10 to the negative 14 by 8 to the negative 11, we get 0.5 hydroxide ion concentration of basically 1.2 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter. So comparing that to the hydrogen ion concentration, we definitely have more hydroxide ion than hydronium ions or hydrogen ions. So it makes sense that that is basic. So when you're determining pH, H+, plus, pOH, OH-, minus, remember to use the proper unique set of sig fig rules. And there's different ways to figure out your hydroxide ion concentration if you know a pH.